Well, hello there everyone, and welcome to Let Us Watch. I need to stop doing that. This is a whole other thing. Uh, but this is Walt. Oh, uh, uh, well, I already spoiled it. I was going to say, guess the movie from this intro, and you can't. Because this is the intro to like 8,000. Well, not 8,000. It's a lot of movies. But Wally! Yay! I love Wally. Uh, I have loved Wally since the day I saw it in theater 2008. Because that's when this came out. Although I would kind of love to see it in theaters again. Because that was a long time ago. Pixar. Yes, indeed. Uh, Steve Jobs was integral. I'm not that far into his uh, biography yet, but I know he was involved with the creation of Pixar. Fun fact. There's a world outside of Yonkers! That's all I know. This is Hello Dolly. But I keep hearing that segment on a, there's a Lindsay Ellis video. Well, it's on a lot of her videos. <laughs> So that's all I know is the outside of Yonkers. This is like a, a, the swan song or like uh, we're bringing back Hello Dolly because it all but destroyed uh, music films. Barnaby. This is the money that Wally made at the box office is like 10 times more than Hello Dolly made at the box office when it originally came out. Fun fact. I mean, it's good music. I'm not too versed in my knowledge of Hello Dolly. I don't know why it flopped. I think it flopped less because of the numbers of people who went other more than the amount of money spent on production. It was a very expensive film. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. I wouldn't have gone home until I was 29. Whew! Boy! Uh, so Wally, uh, predicting the future, perhaps? <laughs> the more, every year, it seems more like Wally was very much predicting the future. I mean, but you can say that about a lot of things. This is a very interesting, like, post-apocalyptic world, because it's not really post-apocalyptic, but it is. You know what I mean? It's Wally! Wally's character design is absolutely astounding. By the way, there's the title. We won't. Act, I don't think we actually see a title because that, that that's what it was. But it, Wally's character is simultaneously very cute, enduring, endearing rather, but also enduring because people should be talking about this movie forever. Uh, but he also serves a function. <laughs> Like, he serves, like, four different functions for the viewers and for the world he lives in, and I think that's great. Like, the amount of... I don't know how it works at Pixar, but, like, everything... Well, I know there's some, what, sexual harassment that goes on, <laughs> or at least did. Um, <laughs> Look, he's adorable! But, like, the amount of effort and craftsmanship and artistry that went into this film is, like, astounding. And there's not a lot of films you can say... Oh, but there's the title. Why'd you put the title? We just saw it. Um, there's not a lot of films you could call, like, art. And, like, Wally is one of them. Which is especially interesting because it's an uh, animated film. I mean, it doesn't feel animated at all because it's 3D animation. But it's still animated. By and large, gas. Gee, when this when this film came out, everyone thought that this was Walmart. No, it's Amazon. <laughs> Little did we know. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh, look, Walmart's gonna take over." Mm -mm. Uh, there's uh, well, I don't. <laughs> Let's not get political. Working to dig you out. It could be any president, really. They all don't do much. It's a bug. Wee. Oh, there's all the other Wallies. Are they all Wallies? I do. Okay, so I was listening to a stuff you should know, and they were talking about uh, Dyson spheres, and a Dyson sphere is basically a giant ass sphere that encompasses the sun and the Earth, and the Dyson sphere will allow us to take like ninety nine percent of the sun's energy. But one of the theories behind a Dyson sphere is like having nanotechnology like create the Dyson sphere so that humans don't have to create a giant ass bubble. And uh, I don't know if 
that was before Wally -E or not, but I like the idea that humans left and were like, okay, let's have the machines save Earth. Although I think I think the Wallies -E were just for this. I think they were just for marketing purposes to get people to leave Earth for like a year, and they were like, oh, they'll clean everything. I don't think they actually intended to come back, as we will find out later. Spoilers. Oh, this is weird. This is uncanny as all get out. <laughs> Because they're actual humans? <laughs> that is uncanny. Hi, Grandma! I can't remember what his name is. I always think it's Chuck Woolery. But it's not Chuck Woolery at all. But he reminds me of him. For some reason. But he was in uh, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Which we're not going to watch until my brother's here. Waste allocation something something. I was talking about Harold and Kumar not paying attention. So yeah, I don't think the Wallies were meant to actually finish their job. I think they were just for marketing. Oh, there's this, uh, a little tiny Statue of Liberty. America. America. You're a sedative esthete. So the top of my feet, you can make the menu sparkle with rhyme. Look, he's humming. They never explain how Wally -E becomes like sentient. Speaking of fan fiction, we were talking about that a lot with uh, Titan A. E. Hello, Dolly. Oh, look, it's an iPod. No one remembers iPods anymore. This is an iPod. That's not what they're doing, though. It's my hat. It's a Rubik's Cube. It's a spork. Oh, this is hilarious. Watch. I remember this. <laughs> He's adorable. Flame. Dear Flame. It's a lot of lighters. Now, was that Michael Crawford? I only re recognize Michael Crawford from, like, when he was old. I mean, I guess he's still, like, middle-aged there, but... Assuming that's him, that might not even be him. Love... Oh, he wants to hold hands. Aww, new Wally. I feel you, bro. <laughs> I was too young. I was like in elementary school still when uh, Wally came out. Get the dust out of here. Ooh. Starlight. See, how did Wally come to, like, appreciate beauty? Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, good luck. Get the diet out of here! Don't forget your buddy. That is a, one smart bug. Ugh, crammies. I don't like Twinkies myself. I mean, I might swim in one, but... <laughs> Sleep mode. Aw. See, Wally's just adorable. He just wants comfort. Act one, over. Not at all. Dude, he is uh, constantly, like, flirting with disaster. <laughs> hungover. I mean, I'm assuming he's supposed to be drowsy and not, like, hungover. <laughs> oh, that almost looked like two suns. What is that, uh, uh, Alien Private Eye? The Eight Sons? <laughs> I 
I like how they added that. That you so know. Wallies were totally made for marketing purposes. There is no way in hell a company would have made that sound unless they were trying to make people think, oh, look, they're, they're so adorable and cute and they're going to save our planet. That is a completely worthless thing unless you're trying to market this to people. He lives! <laughs> Stay. Yeah, so much for that. Uh, yeah. So this movie has very little dialogue, which is insane, but that's why I love it so much. That you're able to have a movie with... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Rubber ducky, yo, the one. <laughs> it's like they just had a boardroom meeting, and they were like, how can we make all of these adorable little scenes and set pieces? It's amazing. Here we go. That'll come in handy later. Humans left Earth, and Wally got busy! Yo. We have to watch The Incredibles. Uh. Ooh. Earth. That is a Lilo and Stitch reference. I am referencing all the Disney movies. We also need to watch Lilo and Stitch at some point. I love that movie too. Green! I've never seen Green before. He's also never seen the sleek shape of a lady robot before, but that'll change soon enough. Well. All this time we were worried about one world governments. We weren't worrying about one world corporations. Like Amazon. <laughs> oh, okay. Just leave this here. Wait, 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 wait. Do, 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 do. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Some of this reminds me of uh, the end of Inception. With, like, Leonardo DiCaprio's, like, coast world. That he lives with his dead wife in. Why was that laser even there? Like, that center laser? The shit must have been going nuts. <laughs> like, in coming into orbit. It's been like, oh! Serpentine! Brace yourself, Lucky's good at digging. See, that's a hefty ass craft, too. And apparently, when it was getting into orbit, it was like, whoa! Ow. Where's the gif of uh, the guy, the old man from Frasier, and turns his head thick? <laughs> oh, that looks like a Covenant ship from Halo, does it not? How about that? John Lasseter was playing his Halo. I don't know if this is a John Lasseter film. I mean, I know where I could find out. I kind of want to watch this movie, though. This isn't, like, a bad movie that I want to, like, do things other than watch. <gasps> oh, maybe I should search for Wally and not Google search Wikipedia. <laughs> Might be a little more helpful. Andrew Stanton. No, he's an actor. Who directed this? 
Andrew Stanton, yeah, okay. This was not a John Lasseter vehicle. All right. I know for the longest time there were like two or three people at Pixar that directed all the films, and they like took turns. Andrew Stanton, John Lasseter, and then someone else. And then John Lasseter got super lazy and just made Cars movies over and over. <gasps> now who is this? Yeah, John Stan Andrew Stan did all the Toy Story movies, A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc. He did all the good ones. I'm <laughs> just throwing shade. He portrayed Barnaby Tucker in a 1980 high school production of Hello Dolly, which later became a source of inspiration for Wally. -E. Well, damn, thank you, Hello Dolly. Hi, Eve! Eva! I love Eve. I know, okay, don't shoot the messenger, because I'm sure we've all thought it. I know you have to create characters that are visually appealing for the audience. You don't want to make, like, character models that no one can relate to. <laughs> Eve is a very attractive robot. Don't shoot the messenger. She's very sleek and awesome looking. And don't you dare, like, go on the internet and roll 34 Eve, please. I'm sure there's terrible stuff on there. But, like, Wally's cute and Eve's cute and darn it, I don't even care. Um, Otto isn't cute. Otto is evil looking and sinister. Oh, no, Andrew Stan directed John Carter. Oh, God. Oh, no. We don't talk about John Carter, although that would be kind of a fun movie to watch, maybe. Oh, God, no. I forgot about that movie. I have I downloaded Gods of Egypt just so we could watch and laugh at that. Maybe John Carter's another one of those. Wally, Eva, wow! I could say Eve's attractive. Wally thinks so. If I can't empathize with the protagonist, oh god! If I can't empathize with the protagonist, what am I good for as an audience member? Look, Eve's a boss. I will annihilate. And you will be exterminated. Threat eliminated. What a woman! <laughs> ah. Dude, I just love how the first half of this movie has no dialogue. It's amazing. They were on the money when it came to the show Don't Tell Rule. Also, she looks like she would have faster technology than, like, a three-second... Oh, well, let's examine... For life forms. You'd think it would be like instant. Like she's obviously sentient herself, right? Oh look, look at the wingman! Oh my god! Have you met Wally? I think this is a in reference to the idea that cockroaches are invincible. <laughs> Like, they're immune to pesticides and would survive a nuclear war. Look how adorable she... Don't even... Oh, God! Dude, he's fast as fuck, boy. And he's on wheels! I like how she speaks English, because the only people who would be surviving on Earth would be stupid enough would be Americans. <laughs> Hi Like a wingman You're not a life form Could you not recognize that it's a robot though? What a lady <laughs> She saw right through me Also that looks like we're higher up than we are But those are just leaves Every time I see that shot I'm like Oh we're like looking at a sky <laughs> Woo! 
By the way, I hate when cameras, I hate when they do that zoom in. <laughs> You've shaking your head. I don't know if I've ever noticed her shaking her head before. Wow! Time to go into the egg. Here we go. That looks like one of the Geonosian star f fight pilots. And this was before they acquired Star Wars. What gives? Hello. Oh, <laughs> I remember what happens. Well, he's adorable. Look, he made her! Yeah, the appraisal did not go well, my man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's a joke, but how did he get out of that one? That looks like a space capsule. Uh oh! Ah! The first half of this movie is just Eve being a boss, a one baller bitch, <laughs> and Wally just going, "Oh, I can empathize as a submissive male. I can empathize." <laughs> <laughs> also what would be I I don't one I don't understand why Wally -E became sentient two I don't know what whoever designed Eve or the Eve robots I don't know what purpose giving her emotions serves Oh, well, now she's interested in what language he speaks. She wasn't first. I can poop garbage. Ta-da. Oh. That's another marketing thing. Oh. <laughs> Classified. Oh. <laughs> Wally. Oh. Look how it, she's adorable. I love these two. He's got like a robot speech impediment. Eva. He hasn't had an update in years. Well, he said it right there for a second. Okay, you know what? That might be one good reason to give her emotions, to give her fear. So that, oh, there's a giant dust storm. Maybe I should get the crap out of here. But, I mean, she clearly didn't have a sensor or anything about that. These are the things. It's a curse, watching films. No. Mm. Also, the reflection work on her, uh, chassis <laughs> is really good. Eva. Also, I've never noticed the light ring around her, like, I guess her neck. Yeah, that bed's gone bad by now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> you pop. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Guess what's going to happen with that? Wee. Please work. Andrew Stanton will be very unhappy. Ooh. Hip hop. Then went to the Ministry of Silly Walks. Was this. They said that Hello Dolly partly inspired this film. Was this like the first thought that came into Andrew Stanton's head? Oh, two robots dancing to Hello Dolly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you were so good, you should stop. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Told you. <laughs> Ugh. He's down for the count. Oh, no. Please, don't help. <laughs> I'm blind. I mean, I know they're supposed to be evocative of, like, human problems and emotions, but, like, a robot wouldn't have depth perception issues. He would largely be fine with just the one camera lens. The only reason he has to is because they're trying to market him to humans. Like, so much of this film, now that I'm pointing that out, so much of this film makes so much more sense. The Wally robots aren't supposed to be useful. They're supposed to market them to humans. So that's why they have two eyes and why they're cute and adorable. Flame. Dear Flame. I do need to watch Hello Dolly to see if that's if this song comes on right after the last song or if like Wally just has like a greatest hits <laughs> and it just like skips through the movie. Cause it seems odd to have like a romantic ballad right after a Take off your Sunday clothes and dance today. Oh, he just wants to hold her hand. I feel you, bro. Ooh. I mean you could still hold her non finger hand Eva And everything's about to change in 3 2 3 2 3 2 Okay, we're going to stop. Things are about to change. Oh. Uh oh. Impressive technology. Wow. <laughs> wow. What happened? What happened? Now she's just an egg. That's adorable. He thinks she just needs solar power because that's what he needs. Now what to do? Thinking, thinking hands. Eva! <laughs> Aww. Poor little bugger. That is a rusty-ass uh, crowbar you're 
stick it into her. Oh god. Ba -da -ba. Hey, it's uh, Venice, maybe? Yeah, get away from that bug. <laughs> That part's a little bit not as cute. <laughs> this part's funny, though. Oh my god, he should have been playing Breakout. Oh, well, I guess that's not two-player. But Steve Wozniak and uh, Steve Jobs did Breakout. So that would make sense, given this is a Pixar film. Back to work. Vacation over. Directive. Oh, now he's sad. Life has lost its luster. No. Oh. Some of the sounds I thought were just Wally making noise, but if you have the subtitles, they, he is actually saying things. I mean, not there. Eva! Why did you go back to directive? Running in the 90s. It's a new way of life to be. We are running in the 90s. Cockroaches can't survive in space. There's the other. Eva! We're going to space, boy! Oh my god, this is almost shot for shot in game when uh, Spider Man is uh, on this, the donut ship. Bye, we'll see you in half an hour, 40 minutes. Woo, garbage! Ow. There's Sputnik. Look, they did take off from, like, Florida. Of course it's Florida. It's always Florida. Oh! They got out a very big problem there. <laughs> Movie over. There's the new lunar lander that I guess we just left on the moon. I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that that was supposed to be in a film studio somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure that close to the sun, uh, I think Wally would be burnt to a crisp, but that's just me. Yeah, pretty. Like, there's a lot of reasons to, like, uh, there's a lot of reasons to make a film in an animated genre, but, like, Pixar really does put the work in oftentimes to, like, spare no expense taking advantage of the genre of animation. <laughs> the nebula. 
Oh, it's, Vo it's Voyager! It's just trying to get back home. Ba -ba -bum. Wee! The Axiom. To my knowledge, the fact that the ship is called the Axiom doesn't have any bearing to anything. It's just called the Axiom. An Axiom is like a universal truth, but I don't think that that... I'll keep an eye out, of course, but I don't think it has any bearing on anything. Look at that technology! Amazon spaceships. I would say SpaceX, but that's uh, Elon Musk. I don't think false gravity would take that quick to activate, would it? I don't know. I'm not a theoretical scientist. Buff it! Also, I like the detail that the Eva that he knows has the green blip, so he knows which one it is. Mo! Oh, I love Mo. Hold up! I like the idea that they can't trust robots, so they have to give them, like, robot overlords. Arr! Get that foreign contaminant out of here! Oh, there's got to be a lot of foreign contaminants on that guy. Ooh, it tickles. Boo! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ew! Uh-oh. He called the big guns. <laughs> he wants to... Cl <laughs> he wants to clean your feet. I mean... Hold on. Green alert! Ding ding! Where's Mo? Did you just forget Wally? We better start cleaning, my man. Oh. How about that? Of all the safeguards you could have for, like, robot uprisings. I guess his current directive supersedes his past directive. Do I follow orders or do I clean? I gotta clean! Also, where are these robots going? Like, they don't have downtime or jobs. <laughs> There's another Mo. Who? <laughs> Look, it's humans! I'm kind of shocked that this movie has not been, like, brought back into the cultural magnifying glass for, like, fat shaming. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not shaming, but, like, I would have a feeling that, like, some people watching this today <laughs> would be like, What are you doing?! Whoa! 
economy. Now leaving. See, like, it makes sense to have humans, like, floating around. Although, this is slightly inaccurate, because they wouldn't just put people in, like, virtual reality stuff. They wouldn't need to spend all this money. No! Man down! Look, it's Wally. <laughs> Are you Eva? Wee. See, like Jeff Bezos wouldn't give a shit about any of this. He'd be like, you know what? Just put him in Oculus devices and just let him. Sit in a cage all day. Like, I would legitimately be fine, like, having this for a vacation. <laughs> this seems like a blast. Ugh, man. Ooh. Ah, get it? Every hollow date has been a virtual disaster, get it? Whoa! So are they read by default? Yoo-hoo! I'm asking you to excuse me, please. Eva. See, like, I'd hang out there all day. I do like how at the, the like, the finer point of the theme of this film is that humans are responsible for their own demise. <laughs> Or like the ignorance of humanity will be our downfall. Something along those lines. That's a cool shot. See the binary keyboard? I've never noticed that before. It's just zeros and ones. Hello. Like, why would you design these robots with sentience? I don't understand that. I mean, I guess maybe on the off chance that one of the humans interacts with them? You don't want them to seem too off-putting? Perhaps? Like, a lot of robots in this film have emotions. And I get that from a filmmaking perspective, especially for a general audience films. That makes sense. But, like, in the... In the story, why would you create any robots with, like, emotion? Although, unless they're, like, Wally and you're trying to, like, market them to humans and make them more accessible. Do you know what I'm saying? Ba -da -da. Hey, they had some, uh, lady captains. Oh god, the Houston Texans had a Captain O'Brien. Oh god. Oh, it's on Jack! Hello, Donnie! Emergency! Me! I think that'd be cold as fuck. <laughs> I would be laughing and be like, what the hell? Look, everyone's on the same track. Wally, move! Ah! Eva! That's some physical activity. Feel you, bro. There's a lot of feel you, bro moments in this movie. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Na 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 na. Bum, 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 bum. And every day has been magical. <laughs> they can't even read. What's that mean? Eva. Here we go. I like how uh, they made it like incredibly like user friendly. <laughs> Oh, the global CEO. I was right when I said it was like a, a global, a one world co a corporation. Operate Manuel. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <sighs> it's going to take Eve again. Well. Kaboom! Oh, did I scare you? My bad. What? Plant.
Well, now we've got a good old-fashioned mystery on our hands. Except for the audience, we've gained a lot of information. Hi. Wally. <laughs> Bye. Yahoo. Oh, cold shoulder. Well, in one sense of the word. Dude, it's not like Space Wikipedia. It's a very dictionary definition. <laughs> This would be like if J.R.R. Tolkien was, like, explaining words to you. <laughs> Mr. Don't tell me how to say dwarves. I wrote the dictionary. Mao. You'd think things would be a lot more, like, smooth. Like, they would know that Mo was coming to... Well, I guess he's no longer on the track, so... It's the defective robots! It's the room of misfit toy robots. Whoa! Oh no! Whoa! You look gorgeous, honey. It's like coughing up paint. <laughs> No one's coughing up dust. Four! That tennis one's an asshole. <laughs> now that guy's gonna come in very much handy. Just wait. <laughs> the vacuum is like attached to him. You would think the diagnostic. Oh no! <laughs> you gotta save her, Wally! That's an interesting step in the diagnostic process. Oh no! <laughs> They're tearing her apart! Oh boy! Like, I know Wally is smitten with Eva, but I think he's kind of like overstepping his bounds. <laughs> they just met. Wow. What are the odds? I love this. <laughs> Wally is their god! <laughs> Thank you, Wally! Okay, as they say, hell has gone in the handbag. Or everything's gone to hell in a handbag. Or a handbasket. Oh my. I like how they throw Wally there. You did something last time, do it again! <laughs> oh no look 
if it's a boss even in that photo. Fun fact, or maybe it's not a fun fact and everyone knew already, Sigourney Weaver is the Axiom's computer voice. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, that one. Oh, he's singing the uh, Hello Dolly song. Da dun da dun 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 da dun da. The only thing that Wally is guilty of is being adorable. Come on. And also overstepping his bounds. As far as their relationship goes. Bro, you're going back home. Remember that? Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> pat, pat. The plant is on here somewhere. Interesting. Looks like Otto's crony. Well, at least he didn't shut off this time. That'd be very inconvenient. Wow! Mission accomplished. Well, how about that? Now Wally is her objective directive. It's like the ship that it was, uh, or in Steven Universe. Stop! 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 Uh oh. Nothing's working! Ah! Oh, remember that? He figured out how to. Yeah, oh, well, I guess he did it again there. Vapor. Would the Doppler effect work in space? Seeing as how there's no atmosphere for sound to travel. In space, no one can hear you scream, after all. Whee! <laughs> Check it out! I've had to use one of those. Not in space, obviously. She was all, I gotta get that plant! No, the plant's gone! And then she was like, Wally's gone! Wally is like the audience. She can't help but love Wally. Look at her. Oh, okay. This is more like it. It's a robot kiss. <laughs> That's not how it happens, by the way. Your first kiss is horrible and awful. <laughs> well, not awful, but you're horrible at it. Whee! We going dancing! Oh! 
Oh, Macintalk, the text-to-speech program for the Apple Macintosh computers, was used for the voice of Otto. In the biography, they mentioned some of the lines. That's a gorgeous shot. They mentioned some of the lines that Macintalk mentioned at the Macintosh, like, opening. I didn't know it was that voice. Molly! It's your buddy John, you just saw him! Did this, that's like the opening of a, uh, of a TLC show. <laughs> Fat, immobile, and in love. <laughs> Starting next Tuesday on TLC. Farms! Does they say like to grow pizza? Yeah. <laughs> they cultivate pizza out of the ground. Uh, clearly Sigourney Weaver has never been to a rave before. <laughs> oh, that gets me right in my submissive male uh, hormones. Or whatever. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> Uh-oh. The Lido deck is where the pools are, by the way. Dude, that is a horribly constructed piece of machinery. You got a little water on it. Caution. Wally, keep your hand in your pants. Save the world first, or save humanity, and then you can hold her hand. Eva. Like, I'm as romant hopelessly romantic as the next person. But damn, save the world first, boy. <laughs> Eve's a baller. Just let her do her thing. Oh, that was almost like a bell shot. The Hosoda film. Uh-oh. We made it to Earth! Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Okay, when we see Earth at the end of the film, I'm shocked that not everybody went back right onto the ship. They're like, screw this. That was like bad touch. Even though Wally was, like, groping her, like, all day <laughs> without her consent. Look, it's Doom. Dancing. But it's not just two people. How would you know? What's this? Oh, the hand holding. That's all he wants. 
Just hold his hand. Put it. Put out, honey. <laughs> I'm, I guess, over-equivocating, but it's for humor purposes. Oh, 69. Nice. Mo! Like, I know she finds it cute, but what, wouldn't, like, most human women, like, find that weird and creepy and, like, overly assertive? She was unconscious, basically. Pathetic. Oh, my boy. My boy. I do like the soundtrack to this film. It's very immemorable, though. I mean, it's nice while you're listening to the movie, but I don't... I don't ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night and go, Oh, I'm humming that Wally song! It's stuck in my head. I mean, I like the vocal tracks in the credits, but... Not, not the... Brrr. Oh, look, that, this was perfectly set up because he's already been researching this stuff. Otherwise, he would not have any... He wouldn't have any reason to know about water. Or watering plants, but he's been looking stuff up. On Space Wikipedia. Uh oh. Captain. Do do do. Oh, keep away. Damn it. They played the, the whistling song. <whistles> that reminded me of like the first season of Star Trek Next Generation when they did that. Why would they have failed? Why wouldn't they have just not done it at all? I think I like my explanation better. Although I guess the corporation is not making any money on this ship, so. Oh, read me. Well, it's not really growing anymore. It's losing leaves. Fuck your directive! This is a kid's movie, though. He can't say that. I like how they get less uh, uncanny <laughs> the further down we go. Yo. Baller. Well, maybe not. What's he gonna do? 
Oh, he's gonna do that! <laughs> he, like, hissed at him. I wonder why he trusts Eve when he shouldn't trust any robot right now. Although, I guess earlier she was freaked out when they lost the plan. He's basing it on that, maybe? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Directive. I like how that robot was just watching in horror at robot on robot homicide. <laughs> Or all attempted homicide. I'm the trash man. And the sun sets on act two. Eva. Oh my god, it's Endgame! <laughs> the only reason they're gonna save the day is because mice were crawling on her button. Oh my god. What are the odds? I am big, Wally! Oh, those are Wallays. Wally! I guess those are his big brothers. See, like, these don't have to be cute and adorable to sell to the masses. I mean, let's get real. They're not really in any danger. They can fly. Or they don't need oxygen. Also, it took her an awful long time to f remember that she had that thing. It's about to go out the airlock, Mo! Calm your razor blade. Dude, Mo is made out of Br Cassius Brutus' uh, ambition. Made a sterner stuff. Good God. Wah. Even they're like, we've lost a comrade this day. Friends, robots, countrymen, lend me your ears. He's still contaminated. Da 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 I wonder if that's based on like a Mac a Macintosh circuit board or something. Mission accomplished. Go get back on your line. Don't touch me. Mow. No. That was like a video card. You think she would know what the plant looks like without analyzing it? <laughs> Fuck humanity! You must save our creators.
They created robots with emotions, but not with self self preservation instinct. Earth, fire, water, eyes. You can fix me on Earth. Oh, he is self-preservation, my bad. Never mind. Save the humans and save Wally. Dude, if she were nearly as lucky as Wally was in that uh, decommissioned robot ward, she wouldn't have even needed to aim. Oh, <laughs> this door, this is hilarious. Oh no, never mind. I thought they were all huddled in there in like a decommissioned orgy. <laughs> Hell yeah! Whoops. It's the rallying cry! I like how all these normal robots are like entranced. They're like, what the heck is going on? Oh my god, here we go. Bruiser's about to carry some weight! Oh no, what are they gonna do? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I just keep saying that. I'm sure at some point it'll work. Here we go. How do you know how to do that? This is the captain. Yo. Oh, they're like immortals. Nah, I'm gonna clean you to death. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, ho, ho! That is what we call on this channel a pro baller move. <laughs> the robots are stupid. Let go. <laughs> How does he have muscles? Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> That's an odd transition. <laughs> yeah, boy! The fade out was a little odd. Not good. Look, all this pomp and circumstance. I mean, I guess they are going back to Earth, but still. <laughs> oh my god, they were wearing those! One of our local coffee shops opened up and it was raining, and so they were wearing like half body suits just like those to keep them out of the rain. It was hilarious. It looked just like those. Just hold on, be going home. They're making like Drake. Look, they're still teaching. Amazon. More like Amazon, am I right? I like that woman who got caught with her helmet thing on, with the, like, she was drinking on her cup and now it's stuck in there with her. 
Why did he wait so long to do that? Whoa! Whoa! Like, this scene is, like, absolutely hilarious, but, like, it's in bad taste to, la <laughs> to laugh at this. No! No! <laughs> like, this scene in particular... I'm shocked that, like, people haven't, like, tried to cancel this movie. Uh oh. Otto wants a taste of some human homicide now. I've killed too many robots to get here, and now I want to kill some humans! Okay, this film proves my point that if you press, if you keep pressing a button on your computer, it'll keep working or it'll work faster. I don't know how that would do anything. How does that work? It's like pressing B or like holding B as hard as you can to catch Pokémon. Ah shit, dog. Yo! Baller move. If I were one of the humans, I'd be like, Eve, you can crush us for a second. Go save the world. <laughs> yeah! Get him, Captain! I, I, I would have to believe... Oh. How does he have the muscles? No. It's like 2001 is Space Odyssey. What's a plant? Oh, well, I guess Mo would know. You would think entropy would have taken place like a lot. These people have literally spent their whole lives like this. Eva! Look, the misfit robots are helping. Did it have to. Will it take it with the shoe? Earth. He's a robot, so... However damaged he is now, he's not gonna get any worse. Just saying. Save the hard drive! I mean, the people don't know any better, but you uh, should know. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, boy! Whee! Make a pit stop on the moon. Oh, here we go again. Don't worry, he's invincible. Also, this is a bigger ship. I guess they were really only gone for a couple hours. And I guess they could live on the ship up until they reclaim Earth. Even though I don't think it's at all feasible to live here. But that's like Dune! 
Oh my god, this is exactly like Dune! <laughs> Denny Villeneuve, he watched Wally before filming the uh, Dune 2021. Oh my god. That was just like them landing on Arrakis. Eva! Okay, it's a robot. He's not dying. Just save the hard drive. Look, she knows how to operate that because she saw Wally do it. Just save the hard drive! Pacing back and forth. Eyeballs. Okay, there's a microchip, but that's not the hard drive. I don't think Wally appreciates that. But again, she's a baller. Was that a hard drive? I'm assuming not, because he returns back to his normal self after going back to factory settings for a second. Hand. Remember these? Must trash. For futuristic robots, they certainly take a long time to process things. Wally. Should have saved the hard drive, I tried to tell you! Save the hard drive. Save the computer. What was that show, Heroes? Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Tough love! Smack him around a bit! <laughs> Do it! Sing Hello Dolly! Da 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 Fusion and I watched Encanto. This is my first Pixar movie for the channel. I've seen a lot of them. like the prince of egypt it's all he's ever wanted oh my god eva no oh. i'm holding your hand oh they're so gonna dance Aw, oh, robots in love. Dude, pizza plants? That really is the future. I'd be like, screw this place, it's all dirt. And broken down buildings. Oh, I forgot, never mind. There's a lot of plants. Eve! For the love of God, girl! <laughs> You had all those plants, and you hung around for a day. Just look over the rainbow. Dang, girl. Alright. That was Wally. Ooh, 
Ooh, cave paintings. Look, we're going back to, like, ancient human times. Because we spent the last hour and a half in future times. Yay! So that was Wally. -E. Uh, one of my, if not my favorite Pixar movie, Monsters, Inc. is really good. I love Monsters, Inc. Um, A Bug's Life is good. Uh, hang on, let's see. Uh, Mac and Talk. Um, Autopilot. Oh, Plane Talk. Mac and Talk. Speech Synthesis. I need to look up some of that. I need to look up some, like, Steve Jobs speeches. Steve Jobs was, like, an asshole, but, like, he got people. He knew how to make people work for him. He knew how to surround himself with the right people. The film incorporates various topics, including consumerism, corporatocracy, nostalgia, waste management, human environmental impact and concerns, obesity, and global catastrophic risk. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also Pixar's first animated film with segments featuring live-action characters. Oh, it had Presto. That's the one with the magician and the bunny. That was actually a funny uh, short that we did not see for the this version. The film topped Time's list of the best movies of the decade. Meaning it was first? Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Oh, wait, no, it's top ten. They don't have numbers. It's just, like, an unnumbered list. Wally, -E, Lord of the Rings, Slumdog Millionaire, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I haven't seen either of those yet. Talk to Her, 2002. Hurt Locker, haven't seen that. Moulin Rouge! I wouldn't say Moulin Rouge. I love Moulin Rouge. It is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. I would not call it one of the top 10 movies of the 2000s. It is amazing. I love it. Fahrenheit 9-11. Fahrenheit 9-11? Okay. Uh, White Diamond, Werner Herzog. Avatar. Okay. And more lists. That was it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been holding that in. I did blow my nose at some point, so never mind. Oh, Finding Nemo. Um, that was also good. Here, while we're looking at the credits. Um, collaboration with Disney. Disney subsidiary. Oh, Disney owns Pixar. Okay, never mind. I mean, I guess I knew they did, but I thought that Pixar was, like, somewhat separate. But I guess not. Um, what is it? Franchises? Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, Incredibles, Cars. I guess franchises meaning more than one production. Where's the list of films? <laughs> Netscape's biggest IPO of the year. <laughs> Remember Netscape? Sequels, prequels. Oh, feature films and shorts. List of Pixar films. Toy Story, great. Bugs Life, great. Toy Story 2, okay. Monsters, Inc., good. great. Oh, P uh, Pete Doctor. That was the other guy. And then after that, I watched Brave. I don't remember Brave at all. I, would, I need to watch Brave again. I didn't watch Monsters University either. Around the time of, well, I didn't watch Ratatouille or Cars, but I watched Wally and Up, and that was about the time I stopped, like, being on top of Pigs or Films. Monsters U, Finding Dory. Everything was just this, just sequels after that. Uh, I need to watch Coco. That's supposed to be really good. Incredibles 2 was really good. I need to watch Onward. Uh, Soul, I wasn't all that, eh, about. Uh, Luca... I might watch Luca just because it was made during the pandemic, and that's interesting. Turning Red! I'm excited for Turning Red. And Lightyear, I'm excited for that as well. That's being directed by um, Angus McLean, which is like the most Australian name ever, but he's American. Fun fact. Yeah, John Lasseter's name's not anywhere. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't sexual harassment. It was, quote-unquote, missteps in the behavior with employees. 
<laughs> Why would you do that? I don't understand. I know they're men and they're stupid. But I mean, if you've got the world in your hands, why would you do something so stupid? I don't know. People are dumb. Ba -ba -ba -boo. Oh, he he's he's doing well. He's running Skydance Animation. So okay. I don't know anything about what they've done. Uh oh, luck, spellbound, puku, fourteenth goldfish, ray gun. Okay, so yeah, nothing. <laughs> he left. Uh oh, they're like Apple TV, and they haven't come out yet. Never mind. Oh, Alan Menken is doing music alongside uh, Lassiter for Skydance Animation. Huh, interesting. It's a bunch of like Apple TV Plus stuff. Apple TV Plus. Okay. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, I am going to, oh, Skydance Media. Oh, True Grit. Ghost Protocol, Jack Reacher. Oh, he was doing Skydance animation. Oh, my God. Okay, so Jack Reacher, the first one, was really good. And then Jack Reacher, the sequel, is like the most boring film I've ever seen. I've I, There are f few films that I would watch and call them worthless. <laughs> but, but Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, is uh, that film is awful. And it is a joyless experience. Oh, World War Z! Uh, Rogue Nation. I do like the new uh, Mission Impossible films. They're really fun. Bye, Wally and Eva. Okay, that'll literally be it. Snake Eyes, a remake? What? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Pixar! Pick it, pick it, pick it, wee! Wow, wow. Dooku, 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 wooku! Huh? What? Bye. Oh. Yahoo. Oh, it's a CFL. How about that? I think we've progressed beyond CFLs as well. Fun fact. Is an R. Bye. B and L. Okay, now bye.